What is up? Beautiful. Oh, ah, ooh. We got wigs in front of me and mm, wigs are my favorite thing in the world. And they make me just so happy. They bring so much joy to my life. Without wigs, I don't know if I'd be living today. Honestly, they're just a great time. If you've never put on a wig before in your life, I highly recommend to just try it out because it will change your life. You can just change your look so fast. So today we're playing with wigs and I'm so excited. I couldn't wait to film this video today. I am way too excited for this. <laughs> We're gonna make a drag wig. My first drag wig. Oh my God, I'm a little drag baby about to have his first drag wig. And I'm ready for the challenge. I've been investigating all day how to do this. And I went and I picked up some wigs. I have three wigs in front of me, okay? Because we're not going for just a regular drag wig. No, we're gonna make it as extra as possible. Think Trixie Mattel sort of moment. The bigger, the better. I mean, I want like full wave, full glam, like massive, massive wig. And so for that, I needed three wigs. Okay, one of these isn't gonna be showing, but oh my God, do you know who this is? A little celebrity over here. This wig is actually from my Amazon, I made an Amazon wig look better video, whatever it was called. And she's still thriving. I mean, she's been in a box for a little while, so she's looking a little crusty. Anyways, I just fell in love with this one. I mean, this peach to pink moment. I looked at these and I was like, that's kind of mean. Like, are you trying to make me feel some type of way? Because I feel like I need to buy these. So I bought them. So these are my babes today. <sighs> They're gonna be stacked, okay? And if you don't know what stacking wigs means, then get ready because it's the most satisfying thing to watch. And this wig is gonna be so large and in charge that I don't even know if I can like pull it off. I'm just playing with you. Obviously I can pull it off. Did you really believe that? It's embarrassing. So yeah, this one is gonna go and be hidden inside this one. And there's gonna be a whole thing. It's gonna be so big and on my head and I'm gonna be so happy about it once this is ready to go. So let's get started prepping these wigs, curling them, getting them all ready to then be stacked on top of each other and form this beautiful sculptural masterpiece that I have in my head. And hopefully it translates into the real world. So you guys, let's do it. So for this, you're gonna need quite a bit of tools. Again, I have three wigs, one that won't really be seen, but two of the same matching colored wigs. Then I have clips, a teasing comb, brush comb, a rat tail comb, a detangling brush that says live your extra life on the other side and it's all steamed with color, that's essential. A bunch of clips and hair ties. Gotta be glued hairspray because this stuff is everything. And a bunch of mesh rollers in a couple different sizes. And last but not least, least a steamer, very essential essential for synthetic wig styling. This is not real hair, this is synthetic. So it is stylable with heat because plastic can be um, morphed into different styles, but you cannot put high, high heat on it. You cannot use a curling iron, it doesn't work like that. So we're gonna heat style it, but with a steamer. Let's start off by just brushing this out really quickly. Gorge. I'm just gonna stick a couple of hairpins into her head. This is gonna really anchor this down. And if you don't want to ruin your lace, then don't do this. But I really don't care about this lace. So I'm just gonna cut it off after anyways. Boom, now she is secure, she's on there, and she's ready to go, and so am I. So our first section is gonna be right up here. It's gonna be a very small section. It's just gonna kind of get rid of this part up here by pulling it all straight up from the part on both sides so that this curl will kind of break up that. She's gonna pull it very taut and just put this curler in. Beautiful. Just gonna put these clips in the side and, the, and that will be that. It's super easy, honestly, on wigs because it just is, but we're gonna put two more on each side going around the face and always direct the curl forward. You'll see why after when we start styling it, why that's very important. Mm -hmm. And over direct towards the face. Make sure you're getting all those ends in or else you're gonna get hooks on the ends. That's one side complete. Let's do the other one. All right, so that is the front all complete. Not super difficult, honestly. Looking sexy as hell. All right, so let's work on the top of the head now. We're gonna do another section right behind this first one. And we're gonna use our bigger rollers for this section. And instead of going forward this time when we curl the hair, we're gonna go backwards away from the face. That way she has amazing volume right all back here. 
Gorge, okay. Now, we're gonna use all the big pink rulers and go all the way down the back, and then we're gonna use the smaller ones and go on the sides and direct everything backwards. And I'm gonna first work on this back section, and then we'll go on to the sides. And bing, bang, boom. Just like that, we are done with the mohawk section. Is it perfect? Is it flawless? No, doesn't need to be because this is just gonna be quick styling. It's really not that serious considering her hair is already curly. The front is the most serious part, but this stuff, it's gonna look good no matter what, like even if it's a little sloppy, but yeah, she's got a lot of hair and I have to do two of these. So we're just trying to get through this right now. Um, I'm trying to get through a lot of things in my life. My two kids, my husband, they're all running around. I have to go tend to them and I can't can't spend all day doing a wig. So anyway, so we're gonna do now the purple all going back on the side. You'll see how I do that. We'll divide this into three and let's have these going back. Again, make sure you wrap those ends in, man, because that is so important. Like if you don't wrap those ends in there, like it's just gonna be really ugly and like very amateur. Second one over here. Okay, so we got those three now on that side and now we're gonna drop down this bunch of stuff over here. The first one is gonna go uh, this way. Going away from the face and then that one going downwards. That way you're getting that volume up here and you're getting this nice curl down here. All right, those two are in there. And now we're gonna put this last one on this side. This is gonna be a big roller. This hair is so slippery. It is very hard <laughs> to control. So that is half the head done. Well, more than half. And then we're gonna do this exact same thing on the other side, you guessed it. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna be putting, you know, one big one right here and one small one going back. Most of the look of the curls and the volume of it is gonna be really be important when you start to tease it and morph the curls into place. That's when you have the most control on a wig. Once I start backcombing all the hair and morphing it into place with my hands and really creating a sculpture with it, that's when the real detail comes in and that's when you can really change the wig. We're gonna do that. Let me put this last curler in and then we'll go on to the next step. <sighs> Another good pointer, I'm trying not to like ravel the hair around it. You have to kind of like smooth the hair out and then slowly go towards the scalp or else you're gonna get, you know, beach waves instead of like really voluminous curl waves. That's the difference. Okay, great. My little sloppy set is ready to go. So the next step is gonna be to steam the hair. This is so fun, I love this step. We're gonna put a bag over this entire head and then we're gonna put the steam under it. You'll see in a second. You can grab this on Amazon, it's super duper cheap. And it's honestly the best thing, even for like clothes. Like you can definitely use this for clothes and it rocks. What am I talking about? That's literally what it's made for. Not for mannequin heads, Brad. I'm sorry. I have my lovely bed bath and behind bag over here because I, have been doing a lot of shopping for my house because I moved. Oh, if you guys want a house tour, let me know, sis. I will do it. Again though, I, I do live in New York City. This looks concerning, but I do live in New York City. And so things are not as big as LA here, okay? We live in little shoebox apartments, but I do love my apartment. If you want to see it, let me know. Make, ow, oh my God, don't burn yourself. We're just gonna put this bag completely over and then put this underneath. I've only ever seen this in videos and we're gonna do this. Just, you know, let it get hot. Cool. So, I'm just gonna leave this in here. Ow! Oh my god, it's really hot. <laughs> the other side. Make sure you get the front real good, real pop in. Okay, so, pretty hot in there. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna take the bag off, let it sit a little bit more, and then I'm gonna take this head off and we're gonna work on the second mannequin. Pop her off. This one is gonna go on the crown of my head. It's gonna go really voluminous up there. So we're gonna over direct everything backwards. We're not gonna do anything forwards this time. Everything's gonna be super duper voluminous and extra. Cool, let's do it. Bam, all going back, okay? You guys, I love my job and I love you. And I'm so thankful that I get to do this for a living. Thank you. For real. I mean, I did it too. Listen, I'm not giving you all the credit here, but thank you for watching and continue to watch. You, you, you rock. Bam, one down, 12,000 more to go. 
Second one going in. We're Again, we're just going back, you guys. Nothing perfect, just go, go, go. Don't spend all damn day doing this. It's not gonna make any difference. And boom, that's a mohawk. Now onto the sides. Again, everything back, simple. You guys, by the way, I never mentioned like the price of these. These are both $50 wigs. So they're really not like crazy expensive. You can definitely get these anywhere. Like I just picked these up at a local wig store uh, with beauty supplies. But I mean, not super, super cheap, but it's definitely more affordable than like some other wigs I've used for sure. Let's finish this off. So I just finished this set. Um, I'm just gonna put a little hairspray in it because I forgot to do that before on the other one. Definitely should have done that a little bit. All right, <laughs> hairspray that. Not too, too much. And then we're gonna continue to steam it like we did last time. I'm steaming away, he's steaming away. All right, again, we're gonna close the bag up. We're gonna pop this off. Set this aside to sit and cool down. After like 15 minutes, I'm gonna take the bag off of the wig and just let it cool down in the um, room temperature air for about 15 more minutes. All right, so I went ahead and started taking out some curls just to make sure it was set properly. This is exactly what we want, these really bouncy curls. Oh, sorry you guys, this is, uh, this is the wig we started with. So we're just gonna continue to take out all these rollers and then we can get to the fun part. This is the part I'm waiting for, is styling this hair. This, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really fun. Okay, let's do it. This is like the most satisfying part of all is like getting to see your work come together. Like that's a bouncy curl, hi. Okay, now that those are all out, we're gonna start teasing or back combing, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna start from the back. And this is still looking super sloppy, I know, but it'll come together. All right, we're gonna start back combing from the bottom and work our way up. We're gonna really back comb this. It's gonna be extremely messy. And back combing is better if you start from like the ends and really push up. If you want a lot of teasing, start really down low. You're not really gonna get much if you're just doing a root like that. And we'll work on the wave after, but we just wanna get this volume in there first. This wig is pretty sparse in the back, I'm not gonna lie. Like these tracks are really showing, I mean. You're basically gonna make a huge mess and then fix that huge mess. So basically, my life. We're getting good projection back here. That's what we definitely want. And you can kind of start to shape it how you want it as you go up. We're just kind of like getting all this teasing in there and just do a little hairspray. Just make sure you keep those ends teasing free because we're gonna really shape those up after. But this looks great. Like I am really happy with the way this is shaping. And when we get to the front, we are leaving all of these forward facing curls, we're leaving them out. That's gonna come in at the end. Those are gonna be the last things that we style and that's gonna really, really tie the whole look together. But right now we're just trying to make this back as big as possible. I'm gonna take the crown and of course tease it all up sky high, baby. You can kind of take your hand and smooth it down a bit. Okay, you see this? This is what we want. This beautiful projection back here. Oof, ah, why does this make me so happy? Just that big shape in the back. Okay, so that is one side of this wig finish in the back. I mean, it's fluffy as hell. We're still gonna sell the ends. And you guys, I hope you didn't forget, this is only one of the wigs. We're gonna be using two and then one inside the other one, you'll see. So I'm gonna finish this other side of this wig, teasing it and everything, doing the boring stuff, and then we're gonna add the second wig on top of this to make it just epic and insane and extra as hell. Let's go on. All right, great. So we have that done. As you can see, she has major, major volume and she's gonna get twice as much. So this is that, and now it's gonna become a whole different thing. Okay, let's grab my other wigs. All right, so I'm gonna gently brush all of this out and we're gonna start teasing again from the bottom up and everything is gonna go back, including these front pieces. Let's go. 
I'm just gonna keep this very, very little bit of hair in the front out. I know I said before I wasn't gonna do that, but I actually am because this is gonna be like the nice hair that lays on top, all right? So we're gonna leave a very thin section, like a centimeter wide in the front of the hairline. Oh my God, I've never teased so much in my life and still feel like I've gotten nowhere. This one's almost done. We're gonna get back to the other one and then put this one on top. I can do this, man, I can do it. All right, here's our babe back. And we're just going ahead and shaping all these waves back in the hair. This is where the art comes in. This is the part that I like. So, you know, we have that little wave over here. Nice projection in the front. All right, let's get our other babe back on here, our main bay. This is our secondary bay. All right, now it comes in our purple wig. We're just gonna put this into kind of a ball. Okay, so I took that purple wig and just put a bunch of elastics in it just to make it a big lump because this is gonna act as a little more volume inside of this wig. So I'm just gonna put this right inside here as if we don't have enough volume. We're gonna add more, okay? Because you can never have enough volume. Okay, and now we're just gonna secure this with a billion pins. I'm gonna actually flip it upside down and start pinning this side. Thanks. If you're gonna like actually wear this out as a drag queen, I would definitely recommend something way more sturdy than just regular hairpins. Oh my God, this wig <laughs> is as big as my body. <sighs> okay, so that is one side. Pretty much all done. I'm gonna go ahead, finish the other side. And this is all just about like, I'm making a mess and I get so quiet when I'm focused. So that's why I'm not talking at all. It really is a sculpture. You're just working with the texture that you have and just forming some waves and volume and very tedious process. I just have to commend everybody that does this for a living. Like, wow, it's definitely a job. Oh, oh my. God, it's been like four, I think five hours now. I can keep going forever. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it right now. It's looking pretty dope. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna now put this on my damn head and show you guys what it looks like. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go try to do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so a lot of things have changed since the last time you saw her. I kind of put it on my head and I hated it. So, being the crazy person that I am, I redid most of it off camera. I'm just gonna walk you through what I did off camera a little bit. The second wig is still here. I ended up attaching it right there behind the first wig and then laying this hair from the second wig over and creating this wave formation. And then this same thing on the other side. It's actually pretty simple. And then I added a lot more wave over here and just formed it with my hands. But now she has more of like a part. I wasn't really feeling the, the all back thing. It just wasn't my vibe. And I just kind of brought the hair forward instead of it all going back like it was before. Anyways, that's what happened. I'm so sorry. I didn't film it. I honestly was having a breakdown because I didn't like it at all. And like, I was like, I'm gonna make it work somehow. And I did, I am very happy with it now. I'm gonna go put it on my head finally and show you guys what it looks like on a real person. Okay, well, let's do it. Like, hello? Oh, did anybody order a tall glass of sexy? Cause I'm here. <laughs> here she is. <laughs> What's my drag name? Because I don't have one. Let me know if you come up with one. This is quite a wig. <laughs> I think that I love it. Like, okay, it's definitely not perfect. Like, it's definitely my first drag wig, but I feel fabulous and beautiful. And isn't that what drag's all about? Am I living my extra life? Uh, yeah, I am. That's for sure. But oh, that was quite quite a challenge for me. It's definitely extra and it's definitely what I envisioned, just not as perfect as what I envisioned. It wasn't the best tutorial, it wasn't the worst, but that's what you get today, okay? <laughs>
Everything was pretty easy up until I started stacking the wigs because that's something I've never done before. And believe me, you guys, this thing is so heavy. My head is gonna fall over. At least I got them attached and like I can move my head and they don't fall off. Like before it was like almost gonna fall off and I really had to do some major surgery on it to make it all stay together. But I finally did it. I conquered this drag wig challenge of mine. And I hope you guys liked it. There's only five more days until the launch of X Mondo, my hair care brand, my very own baby that I've been working on forever. And I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Oh, I have been working my butt off and it's sickening. Everything has is sickening, okay? And if you guys would like to get your hands on one of the first X Mondo products being released, there is only limited quantity being released for the first launch. So sign up at xmondohair.com for the newsletter so you know exactly when X Mondo drops, which is March 15th. And also check out my YouTube channel on March 15th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because there will be a launch video showing you exactly what the product is and how to use it. And a little story about my life and how all this came to be. And today's Twitter shout out goes to Jade, my wig almost fell off. Jade, thank you for always retweeting my video links. And if you guys would like to be the next Twitter shout out, please have your notifications on and retweet my video links on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. Peace.